Hi there, welcome to the Brown Lounge. I'm Holly Brown, and today I have Erin Coopy with me. Hi there. Hi. Erin is a wonderful chef. She teaches classes all around Seattle, and uh, I've asked her to come in and help us with a wonderful Mediterranean menu, and she's helped us with all kinds of wonderful recipes that you can find in our Mediterranean menu dinner party plan. And this is the first sort of um, uh, finger food that we're going to set out for the meal, right? It's a nice way to welcome your guests yes. because we're going to incorporate the frying of a little bit of rosemary. It's so fragrant and as soon as everybody walks in, that's what they smell yeah. and, yes. you know, yeah. it's a great way to start out a party. Yeah. Now, you've got to be careful though because this is finger food that you could just keep eating and eating <laughs> and eating and eating. It's delicious. So this is going to represent France in our tour of the Mediterranean. Um, so, so tell us what's in it and uh, how are we going to put it together? Well, it's a really simple recipe. Mm -hmm. It's um, Marcona almonds Provençal. Marcona almonds are wonderful because they are a little bit more buttery mm -hmm. than a California mm -hmm. almond, right. and they're usually blanched and you know tossed with a little bit of olive oil, so they're very, very healthy for you. So we're going to just dress them up a little bit okay. by adding some fresh rosemary, mm -hmm. a little bit more olive oil just to kind of bring the, the fragrance, as we talked about, out of that rosemary, and then we're going to finish them with a wonderful fleur de sel from mm -hmm. France called Noir Montier. I can't wait. I have had this with Erin before, and I definitely could not stop eating it. <laughs> Warm almonds and olive oil and rosemary with uh, some wonderful sea salt. Can't go wrong. So we're going to show you how to make this. It takes just a moment, and it's the perfect starter to a Mediterranean menu when you're starting your trip in France. Okay, step one is really just starting with the rosemary, and Erin's going to show us how to maximize every little bit of that rosemary on its little uh, stick. I always call it a stick. I don't know <laughs> what you call it. Stem. You know, the, the funny thing about using fresh herbs is I think we have a tendency to want to pick, pick, mm -hmm. pick all those mm -hmm. leaves off. Right. But rosemary is one of those easy ones to work with. Because the stem is so firm, all you have to do is grasp it between your thumb and forefinger and pull down the stalk and the leaves just right. come off. Okay. And if you're not used to using rosemary, fresh rosemary, mm -hmm. um, don't ever cut in the, the stem. I mean, I, I, my the husband sometimes, just, just to like woody. get it done quickly, you get a little stem in there. But the stems are hard and woody, and they, uh, they, they aren't fragrant either. No, but they do make a wonderful skewer for shrimp if you're going to throw it on the grill. So <laughs> that's uh, you, a can great tell, idea. you can tell it's that is pretty a great firm idea. if that's how that's you can a great use idea. it. So we just pulled off a little bit of that rosemary, okay. and now... I'm going to mince it up just to mm. make the leaves a little bit smaller and more manageable. Great. I can already smell the really fragrant. Mm. I love rosemary. And it makes a beautiful garnish too. It so does. save a little bit to put around the edge of the plate when you serve. It'll be beautiful. Okay, Erin's going to finish chopping up the rosemary and then we're going to go over to the saute pan and we're going to whip it up in just a minute and serve it. It's going to fill the room with wonderful fragrance. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil to a nice warm pan. Medium heat is fine. You don't want to go too hot with olive oil. So just enough to kind of coat the bottom of the pan. We'll swirl that around and throw in our chopped rosemary. Oh, it's already sizzling. You can really, really smell how fragrant it is. Once you get that fragrance coming off the rosemary, you simply add your almonds. What I love about this dish is it only takes a minute. So a little flip, just enough to kind of combine the rosemary. If you don't feel comfortable flipping, you can always stir with a spoon, and that's it. So Holly, come on over. This is going to be delicious. You can just smell the rosemary coming through. Um, those warm almonds are gonna be so delightful. And so when your guests come, you want to do this right before your guests come, right? Absolutely. Because they can smell it, and the almonds are warm. Of course, you know, they'll get cold through the course of the evening, but they're still delicious. And we're going to finish with mm. just a little bit of that fleur de sel. Gorgeous. Wonderful. Gorgeous. Turn that little baby off, and uh, let's go try these with a little aperitif. Perfect. You. This looks fabulous. Cheers. A great start to a wonderful Mediterranean menu. Thank you, Erin. Thank you. So Erin has um, done some wonderful recipes. This is just the first of our Mediterranean menu party. And uh, you can find all of the recipes that she shared with us 
on thebrownlounge.com on our Mediterranean menu. And of course, you can find Erin in Seattle cooking away, teaching how to cook. Everything from Moroccan food to Spanish to, do you do paella? I do paella. Oh, we do paella too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. No, thank Lovely, you. delicious, fragrant, gorgeous. And try it with this aperitif. This is a Lole aperitif that Erin um, helped us put together. It's got club soda, uh, the Lole aperitif itself, as well as a little orange zest um, inside. And it's just delicious. And it goes perfectly with the almonds. Excellent. So we've got a whole French thing going on. We here. do. <laughs> okay. We'll see you next time on thebrownlounge.com. Cheers.